Welcome back to the Open Lathe project. Today we're going to be working on the chucks a little bit more. Uh, the first part of this video is kind of something optional that I think is cool, and uh, the second part is uh, probably definitely mandatory, so stay tuned, watch it all the way through, skip ahead if you want. What I really liked about these particular chucks is one, the spindle through hole, and then two, it comes with this nice um, guard on the back. And what I want to do is put a hole in it so that you can put your glass all the way through and um, it protects the pulley and all that stuff. I'm making some gross marks here. Uh, it's about two inches from the bottom and two and a quarter from the left side. It's not precise. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird fit. Uh, it's a pretty cheap stainless box on the back. Uh, but uh, I think it's worth doing. So this thing's made out of thin gauge stainless steel and uh, it can be challenging at times to work with this stuff. Um, you know, people in the home shop might not exactly have all the tools to, to make this work and uh, I think I'm kinda gonna just let the video go and show you what kind of a struggle it can be. Uh, I'm using a step drill here to start my hole uh, it's, it's not always the easiest thing. Um, I'm doing a voiceover, but there was no cursing during the filming of this video. I kind of knew what I was in for. So what I'm showing you isn't the only way to get a hole in here. It's just probably the easiest way, uh, given the tools I had on hand. Um, I've built a lot of industrial panels, industrial control panels for uh, glass work. And uh, what I'm basically trying to do is get a hole big enough uh, in there that will fit a set of knockout punches that I have. A set like what I have costs about 400 bucks. You can get them individually um, or you can borrow them from people. Uh, if you know an electrician or somebody that builds panels, uh, they're really, really, really handy. Uh, I love them. And they make this particular job so much easier. If you don't already have them, I suggest you invest in a set of high quality, top of the line, Harbor Freight step drills. Uh, you'll need them for the enclosure. Uh, if you haven't already looked at the enclosure holes and mounting bracket video, you'll need them for that. So the way the hole punch works is there's a cutting head and a cup that is inserted onto a threaded bolt and uh, the cup goes on to the, uh, the hex head side and then you thread the cutting head onto the bolt. And this particular uh, kit comes with ratcheting head. Um, you know, you could just use uh, a wrench or something like that. There's ones with really nice hydraulic pump action uh, draw bars and then there's some that are just completely automatic and, and uh, those are great. They're really expensive. Um, so here this is just basically a ratchet and uh, I'm cranking down on this thing and the cutting head is being driven through uh, the stainless steel. And again, sorry for the lighting here, it's hard to see what's going on exactly, but uh, I'm just cranking down on this thing and uh, the cutting head's being drawn through the stainless and eventually it's just going to pop right through. And if I forgot to mention, this is about a two inch hole. It doesn't necessarily need to be that big, but um, you know, I'm kind of compensating for the imprecise way that this thing was made and put together. So I've skipped ahead a little bit. Even with the tool that's made for the job, it was kind of a pain in the butt. But there we go, it's a really nice hole. Now that you've got the hole in there, just put it right back on the chuck. Um, something I forgot to mention, there is uh, a little slot for uh, the wires to go through. Make sure that you uh, cut a hole in the right side of this thing. Um, and you know, looking at this thing, it could probably be two and a quarter by two and a quarter, but uh, when you're working with it, you'll see how much slop is in these holes uh, that's in the guard. Um, so, you know, can't go wrong by oversizing it. And what you can see now is we've got a nice guard 
for that timing belt inside. The next thing we want to do is mount the cable chain. Uh, this is what keeps the, uh, the wiring out of the way and uh, allows the lathe to travel back and forth or the tailstock to travel back and forth without uh, any wires getting caught up. Uh, you just kind of take the cable chain, make a little mark where you're going to drill your hole. Uh, I always forget to do this before I put it on the lathe. Uh, it's probably a lot easier to do this on a bench when it's not upside down drilling, you know, it's a little awkward. Um, I recommend doing this with a sharp brand new cobalt drill bit. Uh, the stainless steel will just eat your drill bits for breakfast if it's just a, a drill bit that you've got lying around that's been working well for you for wood or something else. Just spend the two or three bucks and get a fresh one. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit to drill the hole and a number 10 self-drilling screw to attach the cable chain. And that's it. Thanks for watching.